Okay, now this is a virtual machine, and what I'm going to show you now is how it's managed. So if I look at this machine here, this is my Cloud Access Manager. This is hosted in the, on the internet, and I've actually logged in as a user called Jonathan, so that's the, uh, the administrator of all these virtual machines. And you can see I've got a list of users here. These are all my corporate users on the, in, uh, on the system, and you can see that they're assigned certain workstations. So when I logged in earlier on, I logged in as JBlogs, and that person is assigned a machine called RWGPU1. All right, so that was the, work, the, version, the, the workstation we were using. I can create new users. I can delete users. This allows me to manage users as, as well as workstations. These are my workstations I've got. I only have four. You'll notice I've got Linux machine, Windows machine, and I can also see the power state that they're running. So this allows me to do power management, which means I'm controlling my um, capital, my um, operational expenditure. I can turn the machines off, which means they're costing me nothing. If I turn them on again, they start to cost me, but I'm using them for the purpose of making film. Okay, I can also see the location. So this is a, a Microsoft location called West Europe, which is based in Amsterdam. So it just gives you an idea of, of where these devices are. I can create brand new machines here, and we provide you with some templates to do this. So if I chose, for example, Server 2016 Graphics, that will go off and build me a virtual graphics machine. And this will take 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I will have a workstation ready for a new artist to start working. I may have to install some applications, or I may have a template which installs the applications as well. You can choose how to do that. In fact, what you can do if you come down here is you can take one of our existing templates and you can edit them to, to work in the way that you want to. So, for example, we have uh, an auto shutdown option to save you money, which means after 240 seconds we shut down the machine if no one is using it. Yeah, because I know some artists can go off for a long coffee break. Yeah, and that means they're incurring costs on your, on your cloud. Uh, we can also choose the class of virtual machine. So Microsoft have a series of machines called NV, and they start with a 6, they go have a 12, and they have a 24. Each of these has a certain cost associated to them, so you can then choose what is most suitable for you. So, yeah, this allows you to modify a template, and then you can save it as you know, an internal template. So I've created one called Jonathan VM, which is a particular one for my own demo. Okay. Uh, if I go back to the workstations, um, if I take uh, this, this machine here, which I'm not using, no one's using it, so I'm going to hit the stop button. And that's now going to save me money. Deallocated in, in Microsoft world of cloud means not costing you any money. Okay, If it's running, it's costing you money. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, we've also got another option, which Jeremy's going to talk about in a minute. So create means build a brand new machine. Add means add an existing machine. And that existing machine can be a physical workstation that you're already running with Teradici. So it could be physical or virtual. Or it could be in a, in a, in a other cloud.